Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? Oh my gosh, after I finally got that video loaded last night, I had all of this attached to that same video and my phone kept telling me not enough storage and so I finally just took all the cake part off. I, I mean, it took so many hours. I was so frustrated. If I didn't really like doing this, I would just quit because it's so frustrating getting it loaded. But... I've ordered an SD card that Carol from Glorious Life on Wheels told me about, and it should be here Wednesday, so hopefully all my storage problems will be over. I'll show you that SD card and tell you about it when it gets here on Wednesday. But anyway, I made the peach cake. It was wonderful. I was kind of worried because it was going to cost so much. It took six eggs and three sticks of butter, and I thought that's going to be an expensive cake, but oh my gosh, it was well worth it. Um, you were supposed to make a glaze to put on the top, but I tasted it and decided it didn't need the glaze for me. I don't like uh, cakes real super sweet, so I liked it without the glaze, but the recipe has a glaze recipe. The recipe is going to be on the end. I didn't type it and put it in the description because you know, I do this on my phone, and it just takes me too long to type it in one finger on the cell phone keyboard. So I'm going to just put the recipe at the end. You can either freeze it and write down the recipe, or just go to Pinterest and find it, or look up the website, gonnawantseconds.com. This was such a super easy recipe. Oh my goodness. You just dump everything in there and mix it up, basically. But it turned out wonderful. Um, I just totally forgot what I was going to tell you. It just went right out of my mind. But you know, senior artist, I think it is. Anyway, I'm going to show you pictures of us mixing it up. Marsha, I love this mixer. It is just so fantastic. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Okay. The butter and the eggs needed to be room temperature, so I set them out for quite a few hours. And now we're going to mix it up. Here we go. I wasn't sure about the age of my baking soda. I had dumped it in a glass jar and put a label on it, but I have no idea what the expiration date was. So I put a little bit in this dish. And then if you put something acidic in there, like lime juice, lemon juice, vinegar, if it bubbles up like this, that means your baking soda is still good to use for baking. So mine was good. The recipe called for two cups of diced fresh yellow peaches. I'm using frozen because I priced fresh, fresh peaches and oh my gosh, look at this. This is from the Walmart website. Average price of one yellow peach is $1.82. I decided to go with frozen because a, bag, a one pound bag was 268. I only used half a bag at that F, at least that much, and I diced them up after I thawed them a little bit. They worked perfectly fine, and I didn't have to pay for the weight of all those pits. <laughs> they came peeled, worked for me. Here are pictures of us just mixing it up. You beat the butter till it's creamy, then you add the sugar, then you add the eggs, and then you alternate the flour and other dry ingredients with the sour cream. Easy peasy. All you had to do is just mix it. I measured everything out before I ever started just to make sure I had all the ingredients. And Casey helped me to make sure I didn't mess anything up because sometimes... I do. My brain just doesn't always work. But anyway, Casey helped me. Turned out really good. Very thick batter. We baked it in a bunt pan that we sprayed heavily with Baker's Joy. I had more than I wanted to put in the bunt pan, so I put uh, the rest in a little styrofoam loaf pan. I love anything styrofoam. Styrofoam baking things, whatever. Thursday, I have something to show you made out of silicone. 
that I had never heard of before, and maybe you haven't either. So make sure you watch my video on Thursday for new to me and see what I found made out of silicone. I am so excited to have it. It should arrive on Wednesday. Okay, here's what the cake looks like. This is what they look like coming out of the oven. The recipe said to bake an hour to hour and 20 to an hour and 30 minutes. You know my range, my oven is all walky in this apartment. These were done shortly after an hour. Look how crisp it is around the edges in that bump pan. In fact, I overbaked them. They had some pretty well done edges. But I let them cool in the pans for 15 minutes and they turned out of those pans so nice. They just fell out of the pan. So that Baker's Joy works really well. I sliced the loaf, <laughs> the loaf uh, cake and tasted it. It was so good. I mean, it just was so good. <laughs> For my new subs, this is not a cooking channel at all. I, I'm not, I don't even claim to be a good cook. I'm just showing you what we eat. <laughs> my daughter Casey and I, um, we buy groceries and split the cost and then we cook together and eat together because she lives in the same apartment complex. Uh, we just love to eat and we're not really good at cooking, but I just like to show you what we've made sometimes. But this is not a cooking channel at all. I tell you, though, this cake was a winner. I guess that's all I know for today, guys. I hope you had a wonderful and safe 4th of July and I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. I will talk to you in the next video. See you in the morning. Bye-bye. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you would, please. I love your comments. I read every one. I do. I love them. We'll see you on uh, Thursday for New to Me. Don't miss that one. Okay. Bye-bye.